Alrighty. Hey everyone, how's it going? So, we are doing the first impressions for Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. A, uh, a game that looks really good from my, uh, from my opinion. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm excited to play it and test it out. Uh, unfortunately for this first impressions, I won't be able to experience the game in 60 frames per second. Again, because my capture software only displays in 30 frames per second. Regardless, I'll still get the full 1080p. And when I go and I move on to HDMI to my monitor, it's going to... Uh, I'll be able to play in its full in its full glory, perhaps. All right. So I did update my PlayStation Three with the one point six two update, whatever the hell that did. So let's just go ahead and start this. Took no time at all. Who's playing this? I didn't know I had friends already. Oh, who's a good friend? All right. Let's uh, play. Kojima. That high high def screenshot. And of course, if I go back here, the game's gonna want to update, right? It's an update file, of course. So let's close out of this stupid application because uh, I can't update the freaking game when it's installing. I hit. Why? Why when you start the game, it then downloads the update? I mean, it's just auto detect that there's a game in there and that there's an update file. All right, it's updated. It's going to start the game. Let's do this. I'm excited. I am. I'm excited to play a new game. It looks good. It looks fun. Let's do this. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let me do the first uh, 30 minutes thing on my monitor. Put the timer on my monitor here. Here we go. All right, 30 minutes. This game has an auto save feature. You're kidding. Nice. All right, press options button. I want English. English. Connecting the server. And the game turns into an MMO. Surprising twist. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero is online. Yes. Alright. Let's go to our options here. Set the options. Turn down the volume just a little bit. Control type. We'll just use default, that's fine. Control settings, vibration on, keep. Yes, I want my, my controller speaker. Let's make sure that my thing, if I go to adjust device, all right, that's on full. I do not have a camera. Oh, I do not have the PlayStation camera. This is for the in-game camera. Excuse me, display settings. Wow, you just got everything. Subtitles are on, game settings, reflex mode. Set whether reflex mode activates when spotting. That's fine, yeah. Screen brightness, here we go. It says adjust the screen brightness so only the left image is visible when viewed from front. So left image is visible. Um, if I turn this all the way down, I can still see the skull. Alright. Fine, we'll, we'll turn it all the way down. <laughs> I can still see the skull, so it's fine. This game looks gorgeous. All right, backstory? Why not? Because I didn't play. I didn't play um, Peace Walker. Even though I had a PSP, I did. I did have a PSP. I just stopped playing it by the time Peace Walker came out because there was nothing for it at that time. There lived a man who was a legend among mercenaries, a man who put together a formidable unit of soldiers of fortune, long before the advent of private military companies that dared to call itself a nation. A man, a, a man who, with his nation at his back, made an enemy of modern capitalist society and the world. 
This is his story. Known by codenames, codenames such as Snake and later Big Boss, he proved himself as an agent of U.S. Special Forces Unit Fox. But as certain incidents spurred him to, wait, but a certain incident spurred him to part ways with the military, and he he is said to have roamed the world's war zones as gun as a gun for hire. Gee, I I can't read now. In 1974, Snake and his partner Kazuhir Miller. Kazuhira, wait, Kazuhira Miller, I'm going to butcher these names, were running a small mercenary outfit in Colombia when, when they were visited by a man claiming to be a professor from Costa Rica's University for Peace. According to this professor, there had been several incidents involving a mysterious armed group in Costa Rica, a country without a military of its own. The professor was accompanied by one of his students, a girl named Paz, who had been abducted and assaulted by this group. The professor and Paz offered a offered to hire Snake to drive the group out of Costa Rica. However, Snake saw through their deception in an in, in an instant. There's 11 pages of this. The professor was actually a KGB agent, and the armed group in question, backed by the CIA, the Cold War, was no stranger to such overseas clandestine operations between U.S. and Soviet agents. But the CIA's motives were a mystery. Paz had escaped from one of the CIA's group's facilities with a cassette tape. On it was the voice of a woman known as the Mother of Special Forces, the Boss. With a popular song from 1973 playing in the background, it was reasonable to conclude that the recording was made recently. Snake was stunned. The Boss was supposed to be dead. What was she doing in Costa Rica? The boss was Snake's mentor and only a woman, he, and the only woman he ever loved. But ten years prior, Snake was forced to take the boss's life as part of a mission. A bitter memory that still haunted him, despite realizing that she simply could not have survived. Snake was enabled to turn the professor down, telling himself that he was intervening as a deterrent for the defense for the defenseless country, as well as to honor the virtue of Paz's name, peace. Snake departed for Costa Rica. Once there, he ran into the unit of Sandinista, of Sandinista, Sandinista National Liberation Front that had fled Nicaragua. After rising up against the pro-American Somoza regime, these rebels had become targets for the CIA group who killed their, or her, her, their who killed their common de I, I'm gonna butcher everything here. Common daddy and left the unit in shambles. Snake rescued the Sandinistas and invited them back to the mother base. They knew offshore, the new offshore base of operations provided to them by the KGB. The fallen com commandante's children, Amanda and Chico, saw something for their hero, say in Snake, and grew to idolize him. This triggered a rapid expansion of Snake's forces. However, he was still no closer to discovering what the CIA was really up to in Costa Rica. How much longer? Snake then encountered Huey, a wheelchair-bound scientist being forced to work for the CIA. Huey revealed the CIA's terrifying plot and that they were developing a system by which the radar detection of an enemy nuclear launch in AI would analyze a all available data and automatically execute a retaliatory nuclear strike at appropriate targets. Although designed to increase the power of nuclear deterrence, Coldman, the CIA's Central American op, op, Central American Station Chief, Plan to actually launch a nuke to demonstrate the effectiveness of automated retaliation. This demonstration was only five days away. Snake rushed to the development lab to stop their AI from being completed. Upon infiltrating the lab, Snake was greeted by the voice of a tape, the same voice of this lost mentor of his lost mentor, but this fact was but this was in fact the voice of the retaliatory system's AI. Its developer, Dr. Strangelove, has selected the boss, the so-called greater soldiers who had ever lived as the AI's intellectual model. However, succumbing to the person's personal obsession, the Strangelove had deviated away from, from the research orig researcher's original purpose. Not only had she reproduced the boss's voice, she was on the verge of bringing her psych back to life in AI form, driven by a bizarre kind of love. What? What if the boss could truly be revived in every detail, if only in AI form? Snake hesitated as Strangelove's idea touched his sense of loss. His guard down, Snake was immediately captured. The boss's AI was completed and the Peace, Walk and the Peace Walker, the nuclear-equipped walking battle tank housing this retali retaliatory AI system, went active. I swear, these names, it's like, it's like from a James Bond movie. It's like Pussy Galore and, and like, 
you know, all, like Goldfinger. It's like all these na funny names from like those the, those old James Bond films. Snake fought in vain as Peace Walker prepared to fire the nuke, but in fact, this catastrophe it was all oh, machine safety man. I'm, 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 this is way too long. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, my God. Uh, all right basically we're here to to rescue some we're here to rescue them that's what we're doing normal or hard oh we actually have missions here um normal definitely yeah normal all right that's all that's the only option we have In an era when the world was still divided into East and West, the boss, the mother of special forces, and the hero of World War II, fuck it, went away. Under orders from the U.S. government, her final apprentice, Naked Snake, took her life. But for the boss, her defection was no more than a cover. How am I supposed to read that? The boss used Snake to ensure that the Philosopher's Legacy, the vast military fund under the Soviet army control, would reach America. For those... For these outstanding- OH MY FRICK GOD COME ON I'M GONNA READ ALL OF IT! After turning his back on the American snake recruiting soldier with the help of Kuzan Miller, he first- uh, 1974, the Americans are trying- Okay, fuck this, I'm starting- I'm starting it, fuck. <laughs> Takes forever. A Hideo Kojima game, well. Uh oh. <laughs> These are really nice. This is this is this isn't even an uncompressed video. This is like in game. It's not it's not uncompressed. It looks gorgeous. Full native, 1080p, just beautiful. It's probably 60 frames per second too, but I can't see that. <laughs> if this game's as short as everyone's saying it is, then uh, you know I'll just replay it a couple times. Wow. Sorry, completely. She told us everything. She told us everything. <laughs> I kept my word. <laughs> the American voice actors suck. I'm sorry. They really do. Here. Here. I would rather. I would rather. I mean, I would rather have them with, do like, you know, what the guys with Yakuza do. Japanese with just subtitles. Cause this voice acting is gonna be funny. How's it feel to play the traitor? Ho 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 ho! No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. I'm just a little boy. Ew, he just ew. Dude, that thing was like in his chest. That's disgusting. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. His voice sounds familiar, though. It's it's the writing too. That's the thing. It's just, it's just the Japanese writing, because you know they they say stuff differently than than uh. Oh no! YouTube copyright IDs. No, no. Here's to you. Here's to you. Here's to you. Some song I don't even know. Here's to you. Here's to you, the Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes game. Here's to you, the $30, 30 minute game. Here's to you, here's to you, the Gorge graphics. Here's to you, the 1080p and 60 frames per second. Here's to you, the song that I'm not gonna let you listen to. Here's to you, here's to you, here's to you. Here's to you, here's to you, here's to you. Here's to you, here's to you, the beginning of a 40 minute cutscene. Here's to you. Here's to you, here's to you, here's to you, 
You cannot listen to the music. Here's to you. Here's to you. Here's to you. Look at the wind flapping his jacket. Here's to you. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. CTU. Cipher suspect Tos could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. I'm gonna need Chloe to run a synopsis on the whole freaking. High on communist soil. Damn it. And out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's link. We're an army without a nation. In a time where President Charles Logan still ran in office. An American private intelligence agency involved bad news. Jack Bauer's gonna fuck your shit up. Uh huh. She knows that he's going back. Live another day, bitch. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. Here's to you. 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 PlayStation 4. Here's to you. The graphics. Here's to you, no Jackies. Here's to you, anti aliasing. Here's to you. Here's to you, texture filtering. Here's to you. Here's to you. Here's to you, my baldness. Here's to you. Here's to you. You cannot listen to the music. Here's to you. Here's to you. No content ID. Here's to you. Here's to you, music fucking companies. Fuck you. Here's to you. Here's to you. You spelled this wrong. Here's to you. This might be like 40 minutes, because this cutscene is actually going on longer than I thought. Move. Move. I don't know who that is. I really don't know who that is. Who's that supposed to be? I have no idea who- I, I only played Metal Gear Solid 4, I never played 3, 2, the original, I never played any of the PSP ones. I remember trying. I remember I downloaded a demo for for Metal Gear Solid uh, Peace Walker, but um, I downloaded the demo. I'm like, maybe I'll get the game, and then I never played PSP again. I was like, I, I don't play PSP at all. So <laughs> I still have my original PSP, the original one that released in 2005 or 2004, whenever it was. I still have it, and it still works. UMDs. Oh, isn't this? Oh, wait. Isn't that supposed to be um, Troy Baker? Isn't I think Troy Baker's playing Onslaught, right? Troy Baker's Onslaught in Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, that's amazing. Look at our wind physics! The Fox engine! It's amazing! Infamous Second Son has 25,000 rain particles. What does this game have? Gorgeous. Wow, look at the detail on that thing. It's actually really cool. Kiefer Sufferland. <laughs> we'll send a chopper from across the Cuban border. Yeah. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission needs backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. Oh! <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> look at the rocks, look at the rocks, look at the rocks. Oh, stare at Kiefer Sutherland's ass. Oh, night vision goggles. What the hell? This isn't Jack Bauer like I asked. I'll say that 20 minute cutscene was annoying. 
I just wanted to play the game. Jack Bauer presents 24 Live Another Day. This is the prequel to 24 Live Another Day. It's all it's all the same universe. Melgar saw it in 24 Live Another Day. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where you went all this time. Directed by Hideo Kojima. Like, I didn't know that already. Come on. His name's everywhere. His name's on the front cover. It's not It's not a, It's not. not a Kojima Productions game. It's a Hideo Kojima game. Because he does everything. Virtual reality. Warning. Connect sensor unplugged. Damn it. Oh my gosh, I'm playing the game! Oh! It's 60 frames per second in 1080p! Okay, I never played this game before, so just letting you guys know. Oh my god, look at the quality! Dude, look at the rain! Dude, the, the texture quality is extre extremely good! Damn! Let's just look at the graphics for a little bit. I'm gonna prolong this video to be like, you know, probably like 40, 45 minutes or something like that. Damn, dude, the texture quality is really good. You can see, like, the dirt and stuff. Look at, you can see the wet surfaces on the mud that far. Usually it would just be flat, but that's pretty damn good. It controls like a charm. Oh, the cover system's automatic. Really? I don't know how to crouch. Circle crouch? Circles reload. Okay. L2 to aim, R2, R2, um, R2 to fire, probably. R1 is binoculars. Alright, triangle, X. Okay, X is crouch. That's right, didn't Metal Gear Solid 4 have X is crouch? That's weird. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. He just broke the fourth wall. Holding left, holding left or right, what? L2 and, huh? L2 and what? Oh shit. You cannot see me. I think there's a way up there. Oh, damn it! You didn't see me. You didn't see anything, it was just a rabbit. It was just a little rabbit. See me. Alright. Press the action button on your PlayStation 4 controller. Why do they always break the fourth wall in these games? If you're going to eliminate him, use a gun. Well. Sight here. How do I get rid of his night vision? Here we go. Fucking there we go. Okay. Oh, can I do triangle for first person? No. Oh, in the head, in the head. Oh! You just got Jack Bowered. Bower, 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 Bower. Bower, Bower, Bower. Bower, Bower. How long does he stay asleep for? Alright, whatever. I wonder how long he stays asleep for. Oh no. Triangle. Nice. Jeez. I keep In what other game is X the crouch button? You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. On my iDroid? Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, so you use the touchpad, okay. Alright, my touchpad. That, there's an enemy over there. My eye droid. TGT field of movements. Where am I? Where does it say I am? That's my main objective. But I am probably... I'm right here. Okay, that's where I am. I can go over there if I want. Okay. This game looks gorgeous, by the way. I know I know. I said it a couple times, but it really does. Like, this is... This is this is uh, a next-gen looking game.
Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, jeez! No, I did not want to play... I did not want to play Gears of War. Or Uncharted, I didn't want to play... Damn it. Oh. Damn it. I don't know the controls. Run, Jack, run! Run, Bauer! They're coming for you! Run! You're 50 years old, but you can run this fast. Run! Coming for me. Dun 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 dun. I can't, I keep pressing night vision. What? What? Huh? Bling. Huh? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna hide under here. I'm gonna hide under here. That was an accident. They'll never find me here. Can I restart that? No, you don't. They somehow know I'm here. What the hell? Oh, that was the share button. I pressed. I keep thinking that's a, I thought that was a select button. Here we go. Can I restart? Is there like a way to... No. There's no way to restart. This is, this is hardcore. Oh my... God, was that a grenade? I just died. I just died. No. Oh, come on. They didn't do their snake. <laughs> they didn't do that that autocon snake. Why? This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Head for the old prison. I'm sorry. I, I was just I I didn't I wasn't familiar with the controls. All right. This game's gorgeous. Open, boss. Okay. Oh shit, a truck. I should be fine if I just stay behind here. Hello. Oh. Damn it. Hide in the grass. Hide in the grass. Come on. Where's my camo suit? I know it's 1974, but seriously, man. I'm just gonna move in the grass right here. Seems like a safe bet. Contact me if you need advice. Can you play this game for me? Dude, I love that. Look at this dynamic depth of field. When the camera, when, when the objects move close to the camera, it blurs them out. I love that effect. They did that for Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Oh, come on. Oh my god, okay. Run! Get to Chloe, Jack! Get to Chloe! Oh! Oh! I just died in front of that guy! <laughs> Get to Chloe! Oh! Oh! Here's Edge! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh! 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 I don't know have what happened. Did I get him? Double thump! Double thump! body contorting dude his leg got like twisted and his, his leg and arm got twisted like 180 degrees <laughs> it looked weird <laughs> fox ragdolls 
All right. I'm sorry. You've got to stay out of sight. My first time playing the game, I'm not playing in 60 frames per second. Maybe I'll hijack this car. That's what I'll do. I'll hijack this car. Hold on. I'll wait till this car comes. Damn it! It's not what I wanted to do. I'll wait till this car comes and I'll just jump when he, when he gets him. Yeah. Hopefully that will work. No. Damn it. Are you kidding me? Come on! Alright, just kill me. Kill me. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I like the combat in this game. Ow. <laughs> his arms like his arms like up to his face. He's like, eh, don't hurt me. <laughs> Please, it hurts, hurts, hurts. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just, I just—I haven't played the game before, so I can't run and get that guy. Can I, I? I do not want that. Can I? There has to be some way to distract them. All right, fine. I'll just jump over the gate. Let's try this way. Can I climb up here? Oh, I thought I could climb up this pipe. That'd be sick. It doesn't go anywhere, though. Can I go through here? In this door? Oh, come on! Every door should be accessible. The game's really short. Cover attack. I, cover attack if you press this together. Whatever that means. Stay out of the light. I'm just gonna stay out of the light. I love these rain physics. Look at the rain. Seriously, man. Really, really awesome rain. I want to get in a car, because I know you can ride in the back of vehicles. Enemy has left the area. Oh, crap. That was the light. I should take care of the guys at the light tower. That's what I should do. Alright, I'll probably play for like 15 more minutes. To like 45. How, how long are we on the video right now? 32 minutes? Alright, yeah, I'll probably play for like 15 more minutes. Jeez. That was close. Oh, crap. Let's do this tactically. Who's seeing me? Oh, this guy? Oh, crap. Yeah, he's over here. Hold on. I can get him when he comes around this corner. It's auto-targeting on him. Get him. CQC is effective for dealing with nearby enemies. It never said hold. Was I, I supposed to hold? Bodies of enemies somewhere out of sight. How do I? I hold. I hold and I let him go. All right. They're over there. I'm gonna run and get this guy. I run across. He's moving his light. Oh crap. Oh really? Come on! Man, this game's difficult! 
This game's difficult. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Jack Power's coming for you. Jack Power's coming for you. Oh! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, this is sick. You can actually hang hang on the side right here. Jack Power's coming for you. Jack Power's coming for you. He's coming for you now. now. Oh! <laughs> Jack Power's coming for you. Oh. <laughs> that, that must have hurt. Jeez, Jack Power's coming for you. I'm gonna die. Hold on. I got a phone call. <laughs> hey, can I call you back? <laughs> hey, can I call you back? Real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, she can. Yeah. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Jeez. I don't want to do this action oriented. I like stealth. I just am screwing up because I never played this game before. I keep I keep pressing like the left sticks thinking, oh that's how you uh take hover or, or crouch. There really isn't a way to like, you know, go back and, and restart. Damn it, my controller is making noise. Please select the landing zone. Can I? There really is no. I'm really surprised that there's like no way to play cassette tapes. You can't restart checkpoint. Bring up the target's location on your iDroid. On your iDroid. I don't like Apple devices. I just prefer to call it the droid. Does it run on the iAndroid OS? This game's difficult, man. I'm gonna have fun with this. We're back to stealth. I have no idea where all the enemies are. I think I, did, I distracted them and they all went away or something. I don't know. Can I jump up here? Nice. And on this building? Oh, shit. Oh! Where is there a guy? Oh, he's over there. Take him out or just hit the camera with my hand. I could take him out. It'd be cool if I could take that out too. It's pretty cool. I like I like that. You can do this max pain thing where you can just like roll around. I had that in max pain too. These guys are suspicious.
You look at his suit, it's all wet and stuff. It looks really realistic. I'm sorry, but playing this already, Metal Gear Solid 5 became one of my. Is, is ground, I'm, sorry, I'm talking about the Phantom Pain now. Phantom Pain's like one of my most anticipated games right now. Seriously, after playing this game, like I was excited for it, but now I'm really excited for it. Like I could tell that already from playing what half an hour of the game of this game. Having an open world like this, with this type of gameplay and graphics that look as good as this, damn, it's gonna be. Awesome! It's gonna be freaking awesome. Yeah, man. Phantom Paint's gonna be amazing. Shit. I, I I'm doing silent darts though. Okay, fine. Let's see how far we can last, or how long we can last. Jack Bauer's coming for you. Oh! I love that environmental interaction. This game plays, this playing game plays great by the way. It really does. I did a great job with making the controls, they, they switch it around. Definitely play this game action oriented if you want to. I'd say that was pretty difficult to do in the previous Metal Gear games, but now you can really get in. how water gets on the screen too. Yeah, I'm it's burning. Jack Bauer's coming for you! Jack Bauer's coming for you! Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Coming for you. Shot him in the ass a couple times. It's easy. People are starting down. It's nice that they gave him unlimited sprinting, it really helps. Jack Barber's coming for you both at the same time! He's coming for all three of you guys! No! No! <laughs> Jack Bauer will return once he responds. Alright. Snake! Talk to me! Snake! So, that's going to conclude my first impressions for Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And let me tell you something. After playing this game for, how long did I play it for? Like 45 minutes or so? 
I, I am so excited for Phantom Pain right now. I really am. Like, I, I was excited for it before, but again, like, that game just moved up a few, a few, uh... It moved up a few couple numbers from, um... My most anticipated games list because I, I, it looks really cool now and, and if it's gonna play in 60 frames per second at 1080p on ps4 at least that's gonna be awesome and having been open world like that man all right guys i'll see you guys later i'll be playing this game having a lot of fun with it and uh see ya bye